Yo, what's going on John? Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a flashbang and stuff. Before we get into that, I just want to thank you guys for all the support y'all have been showing on the videos and stuff like that channel. Really appreciate it. Links are on my Discord and Roblox group can be found in the description and stuff. But yeah, so if anyone here has watched uh, my grenade video, where like a video was like, it's literally extremely, like it's very similar to like, uh, what's it called? The video I'm doing right now and stuff. The script is literally just a little bit, like things are a little different and stuff. It's just edited and stuff so that like, it works as a flashbang rather than an actual grenade. But yeah, though, if you're interested in knowing how to make a grenade, uh, I'll have that linked at the end of the video and stuff. But yeah, though, okay, so to make a flashbang and stuff, right? First things first, of course, you're gonna need a flashbang part, right? Like, just like the, you don't have to be like a literal model, but just like a part, like the, you could say a placeholder, right? I just, I literally just inserted a cylinder, just made it, changed the material to metal, then just made it like a dark gray and stuff, right? So it was like a little flashbang. You wanna go ahead and put, this part into the server storage right here and then you want to go into replicated storage and you want to insert a remote event and you want to name it flashbang event all right then you want to come down to well, let's, let's do the tool first so you want to, you want to head on over starter pack you want to insert a tool to name this you can name this flashbang right and then make sure to untick requires handle right and then you want to insert a local script into the tool and then you want to have it as flashbang then request in parentheses the reason why it says request in parentheses is because this is requesting for the flashbang to be uh we'll say thrown we'll say that yeah we're sending over like the look vector coordinates and stuff to the server but yeah though so you would have your flashbang event as a variable then we would get the player's mouse then we will fire the mode event when the player activates it which means when the player like left clicks while they have the tool equipped it was it would send uh, I was called the mouse coordinates over to the server right so we're done there we're done with the tool there right we come over here to the server script flashbang this is the handler because this actually does the actual things right we have our flashbang event then we have our actual flashbang in server storage apart then our max distance like the amount of how far apart we want from the grenade from the grenade to the player that's like the distance pretty much like they can be affected by it and stuff like that like whether or not if a person's 20 steps away will they be affected or 30 or 40 it really depends on your preference so first things first when the, when the uh what's it called we're connecting the remote event and stuff because on server event and then we're getting the player's character we're cloning the flashbang from server storage we're naming it well actually you can make this flashbang because yeah i forgot to change that but yeah flashbang then parent it to the workspace then uh, we're making it C frame character human root part C frame which is like above the player's head, and then here the supply impulse. This pretty much is how it's like throwing the like it's throwing the flashbang forward and stuff, right? Then we're waiting two seconds before the effects take place. Then we're going to get all of the uh, children of the workspace and the players and stuff. This or what we're running through this is uh, right here. This is to make sure that like. We're getting everything in workspace, and as long as there's something in workspace and its name matches something in players, then it will continue. Which pretty much is a way to identify if it's a player and not like just like a part or something. And then yeah, then we're gonna do we're gonna get the human error parts position that magnitude right. We're gonna subtract the human error parts magnitude minus the flashbangs magnitude, and then if it's greater than the max distance of negative forty, then we're gonna fire the uh, what's it called would have been only for the client though the reason why we're finding this we're firing this only on the one client is because uh what's it called uh what's it called we only want this to affect to the people who are within the range right now even though it does says fire client which means only one person since it's running through all the players and and seeing if like their human root part uh magnitude isn't uh what's it called what's it called Seeing the magnitude, like if they're close enough and stuff, it should fire at all. If it doesn't, I didn't test that, but if it doesn't, just let me know in the comments and stuff. I can I can find an easy fix for that. I already have an idea in my head, but yeah, I can easy fix that. Then we just do laser one. Then we just show the flash burn. And yeah. So now for the actual effects to take place, right? This is the final script. For the actual effects to take place, we head on over to starter player, starter player scripts, then flash bang, and then in parentheses effects. Here we're simply just doing flash bang event on client event. This is like this triggers this, right? So we're creating a blur, a color correction effect. Which it's pretty much like, let me just show you guys like what it looks like. Color, uh, huh? Color correction. It pretty much is like it just changes the overall like it's like it's like a tint. We'll say right. So like, 
if I just make the brightness white, yeah, this is pretty much how it looks, right? Like when the flashbang hits and stuff like that, right? So yeah, since we're creating this on a lo on like a local script, it'll only affect that one player, right? And then it lasts for 1.5 seconds. Of course, all this stuff can be changed. Like if you guys want the grenade to go further, if you want the distance to be shorter or long, if you want the distance to be shorter or like I mean not shorter, if you want the distance to be um smaller or bigger, or if you want like the uh, what's it called blur to last longer or not last as long, completely up to you guys. But uh yeah. We can go ahead and just hop in game real quick and we can test this and then yeah so if i throw the grenade all the way over there or flashbang whatever it obviously won't work now if i throw it there boom as you can see yeah or if i like throw it about right there that i think yeah right there yeah, stuff but if i obviously like throw it all the way over there obviously i'm too far away but yeah, that's stuff. So that's how you make a flashbang and stuff. As always, all the scripts will be in the description. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown me on my channel. We're at 240 subscribers, about to be halfway to 300 and stuff. I really appreciate the support. We, the the Roblox group is almost at 30 30 people and stuff. I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if it was helpful. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Join the Discord and DM or ping me if you need help. Or, and yeah, I'll see you guys.